in news. All right, now going back to our top story this evening, and tonight the country's largest referral hospital, Kenyatta National Hospital, is on the spot over alleged sexual harassment taking place in the maternity corridors. There are reports that mothers who have just given birth are being waylaid and sexually assaulted while on their way to breastfeed their children housed in another floor. But the hospital has vehemently denied the claims, saying they are false. And as Cecilia Wakesha now reports, Health Cabinet Secretary Cleopa Mailu has now ordered for a thorough probe into these disturbing allegations. It is this Facebook post by Mildred Ati Owiso alleging how Kenyatta National Hospital has become a hotspot of all manner of evil mated on new mothers that caught the attention of most Kenyans today. The allegations carried mainly on social media claim that new mothers, some of whom have just undergone cesarean section, have undergone sexual assault, including rape, allegedly at the hands of staff believed to be mortuary attendants and other mothers will follow suit with tales of their ordeals. Claims that will splash the social media for the better part of the day. The first to respond were officials of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union who said the reports were disturbing. There are also patient counsellors here who even the administration may not know. Some of them, we have talked with them, they are our uh, people and they are telling us they are also still finding out. So far they have not found out anything. I think the, the most important thing is that this matter should be thoroughly investigated and we keep to be investigating it. Hours later, the chief executive director of Kenyatta National Hospital, Lily Koros, will deny the claims, maintaining that the security of every new mother was guaranteed at the hospital. She was, however, quick to add that investigations into the claims had already begun. The damning and untrue social media report is uttered in bad faith, according to us, and the members of the public of goodwill need to ignore it. KNH management and staff wish to assure patients and relatives that their security and medical care is our priority. It is said that the sexual assault occurs whenever new mothers move to breastfeed their newborn children located on the first floor. And I'd like to tell the Kenyans who have those complaints. You know, you understand um, the challenges that come with anonymity of social media, that if they feel that they're intimidated in bringing those claims or those issues to Kenyatta Hospital, that they can bring them to my office. And I'll be able to talk to each and every one of them. They can be able to, to send them either on email, because I've seen a lot of those on social media, bring them physically to KSC 26 floor, because it's a matter that we want to get to the bottom of. Health Cabinet Secretary Klopa Mailu has now ordered for immediate investigations into the allegations, demanding a detailed report in the next two days. Some have questioned the design of having nurseries located on different floors away from their mothers. Investigations are going on and indeed some of the tapes, because you have seen, they keep records of what happens will be reviewed by the investigating officers so that we can get to the bottom of this. Problem. If you're not reporting this issue, then you are the bad one because you are delaying the care of the mother who you are alleging to have been assaulted. With many victims suspected to have chosen to remain silent on the matter in fear of victimization, investigators may have to not only rely on CCTV cameras, but to go an extra mile and bring the culprits to book. Cecilia